Hey everyone, it's Pork Day! This episode is for all my pork lovers in the house. It's episode 18 out of 125 episodes where I'm sharing with you every detail possible from my culinary school experience in an effort to bring my skills to the Martha level. Today I learned some really great tips on working with pork. So the first thing we did was a pork chop and to make a pork chop look extra fabulous, you want to machine the bone. And what that means is you basically take the top two inches of the bone, you sort of score a little line around it, you hold it in your hand, you score it, and you scrape all of that meat off of the bone. It's not much meat, honestly. You're not wasting anything. Um, we actually didn't waste it because we used it in stock, but that's a long story. And so you scrape all of that off and you have a really nice clean bone. Like when you go to a really chic restaurant, that's how they do the bones. And that's how I'm going to do mine in the future because now I know my way around a pork chop. That's really what I'm learning is such a big thing about um, at least level one in culinary school is really understanding the sort of the bones, the cuts, the different opportunities you have to work with protein or vegetables, honestly, it's really understanding the shapes of different things and how you can manipulate them to, to make them what you want. Make them more uniform, make them cook more evenly, make them more beautiful to look at. And you know, the list just goes on and on of things you can do to sort of manipulate food to make it what you want it to be. And that's one of the things I love about it. So that was that, we did it, we seared it. The pork chop, we butter basted it. I mean, butter and basting in the same sentence. Hello, that is delicious. And yes, it was. I'm gonna put it up on my little Bing screen. Bing! So that was the dish. Actually, this is me like right about to eat it or it might have already been cut into from my teacher. I'm not sure. Um, but that was the dish and it was really delicious. We did it with palm puree, which is also known as delicious mashed potatoes. Okay. Yes, I will be running tomorrow. I am hell over high water. I am going to yoga and I'm running. Those two things are happening, period. So after that, we did the pork tenderloin. A pork tenderloin is super easy. If you have not tried it, please look up a recipe and do it. And one of the things that every good recipe will tell you when you're preparing a pork tenderloin is to remove this silver skin. Now, I'm talking about skin, not like the silver jewelry that we wear. You need to look for that silver skin because it can look like fat, but when you really look at it, it actually is reflective and you can tell it's kind of like metallic looking and it is like a rubber band. You do not want to serve a rubber band to your friends or family at all. So get that silver skin off. And the way that we do it is basically you just cut into it a little bit. You can grab a towel if it's a little slippery, which it probably will be, just to sort of grab a hold of it. And you just sort of carve it off the top really smoothly, really slim, just to make sure you don't take off too much meat and make sure that it's just out of there so you're not eating it. Ew, no more silver skin. But keep the fat because it adds lots of good flavor. There's not much fat on a pork tenderloin at all, so every little bit counts. Trust me. So tomorrow is the last day of level one. How is this even possible? We're doing lamb tomorrow, so if you're a lamb lover, definitely stay tuned. Give me some feedback in the comment section. Let me know what you think of this episode. And after tomorrow, I'm gonna be taking my level one exam. Ah! So I'm gonna get studying. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.